Fluff, I need a volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Me! Okay. No! Okay, what percentage of the federal budget do you think is devoted to foreign aid? 60. 60. Okay, according to, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, I know, this is a different room. That the average American believes that, no, I mean, Americans believe that the average among Americans that the percentage of the federal budget is spent on foreign aid is about 26%. So your 60% is like way up there, above average. But in reality, only 1% of the federal budget is devoted to foreign aid. Oh, you can sit down if you want. This, this aid hovers around $50 billion. This aid helps lots of people around the world. However, this 1% plus contributions from other donor countries is push forward the agendas and policies of total authoritative governments around the world. And according to my analysis, half, half of y'all believe that we should stop sending aid to these countries, even though it could mean a massive loss. I mean, yeah. And half of y'all believe that we don't because it could result in massive loss of life due to civil unrest or famines. But let's take a look at the recent events. Well, five years ago, the Arab Spring, Tunisia, their government was really was autocratic, but it transitioned into a more peaceful government. Now, I I want to persuade you why why we should stop sending aid to these types of governments. Autocratic governments will use it for their own benefit, not the people that the aid was meant for. That it will even make the situation worse for the people in these countries, and that it slows down the, the development of these countries. And I'll, the process to give aid to other countries is rather simple. And a donor country gives aid to a recipient, and that recipient government is responsible for distributing that aid to the people who need it. However, if it goes, by the time it uh, goes to like an authoritarian government, barely a trickle actually makes it to the, to the people who need it, simply because these autocratic governments are selfish, yeah. self-centered, and only, benefit, only want to benefit themselves. For example, they believe that foreign aid is used as a piggy bank to buy stuff. For example, um, mm. the former president of Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo, st stole five billion dollars from the, the country, and that included some aid money. God, see? And he purchased it on um, yachts, golden guns, um, expensive oh, toiletware, and uh, cars like a Lamborghini. Oh my However, God! A purchase that stand out to me the most was he chartered a jet to Venezuela 32 times back and forth to buy to try to give something. Anyone want to take a guess of what that something was? Oh my God! Drugs. Sex. Women. What? what? No. Weed. What? Drugs. I don't know. Sex. Sheep. Five, sheep. Five thousand <laughs> sheep to his own personal ranch. That's. Oh my God! Let me have a piece of him <laughs> when I'm mad. Uh, okay. He's like exiling Bona now. That's okay. terrible. Now, all right. It foreign aid increases the ability of govern of authoritarian governments to um, patronize work high officials. Basically, they gave royalties or privileges like money, houses, some sort that, that sort. A good, a good example would be North Korea. Kim Jong-un, when he rose to power after his father died, he doubled um. the amount of money for 
purchasing luxury goods. So, so much of that, it's like six times, the value of it is six times more than the aid that, UF, that the UN uh, uh, pleaded to the world governments. Now, authorit authoritative governments uh, rule through power and uh, through intimidation and fear. So obviously they need um, money to buy, they need weapons. So to fund these procurements, they sell some of that foreign aid onto the, mar to the local markets. For example, um, um, sorry. Um, no, you're good. Expensive toiletware, I mean, really? Hey, oh my, hey, I don't gold. care. The throne has to be made of gold. Okay, the, the, the <laughs> flesh, right? current, the form, uh, current president, Ethiopian president, man gets to, was suspected by aid workers to have sold some foreign aid in order to finance the purchase of arms from Italy. See, that's... According to the New York Times. Of course he did. Of course he's screwing it over. Oh my God. Now possibly the worst thing they do is they use it to su suppress descendants, uh, descendants, descendants. However, they use it like a carrot on a stick. They, these half-starved, their half-starved people will probably do anything just to get the aid, which they point, uh, held it right in front of their faces. For example, um, also, is that Ethiopian president Megetsu was um, no uh, human rights workers were suspect uh, saw local leaders use foreign aid, deny foreign aid to uh, citizens who they believe have political different idol different political ideologies or were uh, part of uh, part of a different clan. Now. What? In the rare cases that foreign aid does trickle down to the uh, uh, common, to the population, it is really beneficial. There's no doubt about that. It, like the uh, 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and earthquake, the U.S. was one of dozens of na nations who immediately provided aid to the afflicted areas. Now, what happens if this aid continues to flow, but continues to flow into the even after the crisis has ended? First off, the gl this glut of um, think of supply and demand. Does everyone know what that is? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what if you flood massive amounts of supplies into a local population? Um, okay. Wait. I'm sorry. Let me repeat that. We give aid to these uh, autocratic governments who then sell it, but, and that causes a drop in prices, which affects the local farmers who are forced to sell it at, at a loss. So they go deeper into debt and continue the cycle of poverty. Now, land, autocratic governments use this land, uh, use uh, money to buy land or force the uh, owners of that land to sell it for cheap. Mm -hmm. So they could build housing or what I call white, big white elephants. No, I'm not talking about those statues. It's like these, these um, buildings are useless, basically. Their c construction costs are inflated. The time are intentionally delayed so to milk more foreign aid. So, for example, the this um, airport in Pyongyang, yeah, the capital of North Korea, barely anyone could use that air except high officials or or special families. And now we now we looked at what what caught uh, the effects on the population, but now let's look at what happens to the countries in the long term. Autocratic governments, once they realize that, that they will have a constant source of funding for, from foreign aid, they'll begin to neglect government 
responsibilities, like paying their own workers. They basically just siphon off so they could pay workers, civil servants, and the military. Now, for example, uh, Bangladesh was, according to the According to, uh, was reported to have neglected their agriculture sector because they believe that the world won't let them starve, which we probably will not let them starve. So they neglected it and divert funds to, to other state projects like the textile industry. Now, this crushes, foreign aid also crushes the incentive for these governments to reform to uh, get policies that encourage domestic growth. The foreign aid acts like a, um, as artificial, artificial economic growth. So if once like a major recession happens, they, they're so dependent on our economy that they collapse, ending, causing like more unrest, probably. Now, as you can see, as you can see that foreign, continuous foreign aid to these autocrats does not work. It, I'm showing you how it breaks, how abusive, how uh, mismanaged foreign aid is managed, um, how autocrats mismanage aid, how foreign aid is like an opiate to, to the people. Uh, so like it's okay in short doses, but in long terms it it doesn't help at all. Same with countries. And now, I by that I by now I hope I persuaded you to support legislation or policies that demand and to foreign aid to these autocratic governments. And I want to appeal to your logic that. Why give money to these archive governments so they could just spend it more on lavish goods? And appeal to your emotion. Why spend, why give foreign aid if it means putting, make that aid could be used to put down a fellow human being? And finally, thank you. And these are my sources. Yay! All right. Awesome.